What's up guys, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. We are hopping straight into Season 1, Episode 5 of Breaking Bad. Coming off of Episode 4, little two episode watch session. Um, last episode we had a few things happen. Uh, Walt, his whole family found out he has cancer. Skylar kind of put him in a tough position, but also, you know, she had been going through a lot given that news out of nowhere and he had kept it from her for like a month so it's understandable why, why she's so like distraught and torn up but at the same time uh, emotions aside that's definitely not the right way to go about um breaking the news to everyone yeah but it could also be argued uh, while keeping it from his family is not the right oh. way to go let about me, it for that long let me say this because we're recording these episodes you know in batch sessions so odds are someone's already cooked me in the comments for what you just said uh -huh. um i do not agree with walt keeping it from the family for a month at all not in the slightest bit skyler more so putting it on walt jr like that is what i'm kind of like mm, that's that's pretty pretty Right. Awful. Walt, Walt Jr. Um, is the biggest victim in that situation right. because he's just a kid. Like Hank and what's the sister's Marie. name? Marie. They can handle it. Walt Jr. is like 16. Like bro's entire life just gets flipped upside down at freaking family breakfast. Like. Or I guess they were eating chicken. That's not breakfast. That's probably lunch. So. That's what I'm more so saying. Like, that was foul of Skyler to do to Walt and to Walt Jr. in that situation. So, just clearing that up in case anybody's already said, wow, I'm such a, I don't know, insert jerk word there. That's my thought process. Not, yeah. Walt should wait until he's ready to tell him, like, no, you tell your family because it affects them just as much as it affects you. Um, I think. Skylar breaking down crying if she since she didn't tell them like what was wrong I'm gonna assume that Marie was assuming that Walt had like cheated on her or yeah. something like based on her tone right uh that that's probably what was thought she was, was like ayo upsetting Skylar but of course he breaks the news that he has cancer and mm. if they were in fact assuming that which i'm assuming they were assuming that then that would <laughs> kind of make them feel like shit yeah for sure uh aside from that we we talked about this last episode but the uh the dea they the task force is you know investigating crazy eight um yeah. they got the mask might have some dna on it We'll see. And we had Jesse's little arc where he went home, was in his childhood room, spent some time with his parents who are, uh, you know, act like they're so disappointed in him. But according to his little brother, Jake, he's all they talk about. And you can tell, like, when he was setting the table, they really didn't want to set boundaries. They wanted him to stay there. And also... When they told him to leave, when they found the joint, they looked so torn up about it when he was walking away. Uh, and then we found out it was Jake's joint, which is very <sighs> smart of Jake because I think the maid was cleaning Jesse's room. So the room that no one uses that your druggy brother lived in, you hide your drugs in that room in a plant like that is big brain. Speaking of foul. That is also foul. Yeah. I mean, I, I know it, it was pretty shocking to you, but I'm sure um, when, when you were around that age, you knew of some kids who were doing that stuff. I know me and you were, were clean. I, we, we never. I cannot say, I'm going to be honest with you, I cannot say I did. Oh, well, growing that, up. I was extremely sheltered. Uh, at, at my school, there were like drugs all around me. There were like, there were drugs being dealt in the cafeteria yeah. they're like on the bus uh it was it was the crazy time but somehow i i avoided it all but um even though jesse is like 
a drug addict. Uh, mm. He he still I still find him to be such like a cool character and down to earth person. Oh, Even sure. when he's telling Jake, you know, I, I can give you advice and like I've I've been through everything and there's more to life than just book smarts. Basically trying to tell him about street smarts, wisdom. <laughs> I mean, he's completely correct. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just like his character. Oh, I like his character a lot, too. And I mean, I have some very strong, like personal opinions about drugs. But that's definitely not going to affect how much I like a character. And I think he's so chill um, and honestly pretty funny. So yeah. he, he's valid, even though bro is a total like degenerate. <laughs> um, so. So also that episode we okay. had, we had Walt coughing up, blood pulling over. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken was there. Ken got his Ken car lost. torched. Yeah, yeah, very very interesting way to do it with the squeegee connecting the positive and negative Hilarious. terminal. <laughs> Hilarious way to do it. Yeah, and um, also Skyler is really wanting Walt to get this treatment for mm. like 90k. And we're thinking he's going to have to, even though we told Jesse to get off his property and don't come back, we're thinking he's going to have to team up with him to cook to get the money. Because, like, there's just no other way for Skylar to get what she wants and Walt to get what he wants. Yeah. Captain Cook, baby. Captain Cook. <laughs> uh, aside from Let that, is there cook. anything else you wanted to touch upon from the previous episode or you wanted to talk about before we get into this one? No, I think I'm good to go. All right, well, in that case, we are good to go. But before we do hop into it, as always, we would appreciate a like. Uh, really helps out the channel. And if you subscribe, hit the noti bell to stay up to date with when we drop videos. We also have links in the description to our Patreon. You can get the full length reaction to this episode as well as every other episode. And we have early access in the form of two weeks and four weeks. Make sure you read and choose the right one. We also have links to our social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and we have a Discord you could join. Come in there, talk about Breaking Bad, talk about anything. That being said, let's roll. Yeah. Here's my resume. Um, I mean, technically it says uh, curriculum vitae, which I <laughs> think is more professional, but uh, you know, same thing pretty much. I have a solid background in, uh, in sales. I mean, yeah, he's just self-starter. So yeah, he does. Uh, that's excellent. But um, excellent. I really feel I could be a major, major asset to your sales force. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking there's a little misunderstanding. What you'll be doing? Is Sign more spinning. Advertising. I saw him in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man, what up, Badger? It's the Where goat. Oh. Wow. Yeah. See? Yeah? That one's a bitch. Uh, I'm not very good at it yet. Now you uh you really opened my eyes to the possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> hey, anyways, um thinking about retiring. What? No! Yeah. The stuff you made is unbelievable. It was pretty awesome. Retirement? <laughs> <laughs> ah! No, nah, I mean I I had this uh this partner who was helping me cook. I mean, I was doing most of the work, but... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Save your dollar bills, y'all! All the possibilities, bro. There's a lot of them. <laughs> gonna learn all the, all the trade secrets. Jesus, I guess we didn't get the beige memo. <laughs> We're okay. I look like I'm wearing a prom dress from 1985. Honey, you look fine. Uh, I mean, she has a point. I find that fit me. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's not wrapped in beige wrapping paper. Oh, look, mm. there's Elliot. <laughs> oh, deplorable. Oh, it's been ages. Oh, oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> really good. Skyler, <laughs> welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. It's Have we met her? To be here. When are you do? She look familiar to you? Ten more weeks. Yeah. And you saw in a flashback. Actually, yeah. Found out that it's a girl. 
Bro, that can be yours if you just start cooking more dope. <laughs> Starts coughing blood all over his nice books. Walt, I thought that was you. Ah, Farley, <laughs> long time no see. He was, you were just the master of crystallography. <laughs> you could say that. You were stuck on this protein problem. So you run the company with Elliot? Oh, no. Uh, no, that's that's Gretchen and, and Elliot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I gravitated toward education. Ah, what university? <laughs> It's a Stratocaster. <laughs> not, not, not just any Strat. That's one of Clapton's. Beautiful. Can't imagine being grown adults Beautiful. opening yes. gifts in front of Why other grown adults. I'm game. Dude, I, I do that with my mom. But all these other people? Nah. Oh, this is from Walt. I just like gifts. Uh. Hey. <laughs> oh, God. I'm cringing. <laughs> Yum, good ramen. <laughs> Thank you, Walt. <laughs> well, for the man who has everything. Skylar and I would love to have you and Gretchen over for dinner sometime. Oh, sure. Is yeah, that a absolutely. praying mantis in the background? Or? But you know what I What's mean that? is that, that you and I should work together again. Look behind Walt. I... It's not there. What are you going to teach high school? <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Are you uh, asking me to come work for you at Grey Matter? Yeah, why not? You, you'd fit right in. You're brilliant. You, you, you got a ton of experience. Well, I. It's not going to show it again, huh? I wouldn't really know oh, where no. to begin. I mean, I have some personal issues, and, but there's nothing we can't work out. It's, it's complicated. <laughs> Very complicated. I cook meth. We, we have excellent health insurance. Ayo? <laughs> the best. Done deal. <clears throat> um, hey, did you did you try those prosciutto wrap figs? They were like, wow, they were just... I figured you have a little more pep in his step. Oh, and the seafood table. Did you see that? They had lobster tail. They Unless had she told him shrimp. They had... to offer him a job. Walt. What the hell did you say to Ellie? Ugh. What? You told him about the cancer, didn't you? Didn't you? He knew something was wrong with you, and he pressed me. Skylar just he telling everybody what the world know. <laughs> what exactly did he say to you? He offered me a job. What? Yes. And then when I turned that down, he flat out offered to pay for my treatment. You... Which is exactly what you expected him to do, didn't you? Okay, what did you say? What do you think I said? Why, Walt? Bro's kind of being stupid. Yeah. All right, this, this is definitely his pride. Because as far as I mean, money and insurance is concerned, that would get the job done. But there's obviously some history between him, Elliot, yeah. Gretchen. But like, dude, you can't be... Beggars can't be choosers right now. He could have literally just taken the job and earned his pay. Even if, you know, he wasn't Elliot's first choice to work with. I don't know. Uh, th there's some history there. At some point, a compromise needs to be made. I agree, though. I'm ready to go. I'm taking the bus. <laughs> okay. Looks like a car from Back to the Future. The DeLorean. <laughs> hey, dude, are these bullet holes? No, nah, man, those are for like, um, you know, ventilation. Uh, ventilation. Bro, yeah. Cool. Big ass beaker, huh? <laughs> uh, hey, wait, wait, no, that's yeah, that's a, it's a boiling flask. This mm. is a beaker. Here's a Griffin beaker. Here's a uh, volume beaker. Really know your shit. It's just basic chemistry, yo. <laughs> I thought it was art. So, goddamn. Okay. Jesus, what the hell are you bringing that for? Hunting. We might see javelinas. 
copyright claim. <laughs> How do you think this batch of meth is going to turn out? Not as great. We forgot our IDs and we were wondering if you could do us a favor and buy us a six pack. You know, what you're asking is illegal. Um, oh God. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Nah. <sighs> They're gone, dude. Consider this your first and last warning. Yes, sir. You're lucky you got a good dad here. Oops. I don't even know what to say to you. <laughs> Just go. Poor Hank. I'll deal with yeah. you later. When he finds out his dad's sick, he starts acting out, you know? First the pot, then this. The pot? Uh-oh. Uh, I, was, I was talking about Walt. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me? He admitted it. The whole family substance he abuse. <laughs> and he liked it. Walt? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> it's like he's not himself lately. Yeah. What we really need to do is sit him down, all of us, and, and get everything out on the table. You mean an, an intervention? No, no, just a family meeting. Uh, yeah, an Where intervention. Can but voice their concerns. Whatever. Be heard. It's cloudy. It's not supposed to be cloudy, okay? That last time it was glass. So what? Cloudy, not cloudy? It looks good enough to me. Good enough. Oh God! Wait, wait, wait. Yo, what are you doing? Ah! Are you out of your mind? I totally would have smoked that. Look, it's not for you. It's for our customers. They're gonna demand a certain standard. <laughs> Bro's a junkie. Yeah, Jesse's becoming more like Walt with his standards. Yeah. He wants that 99.1%. Intervention time? Intervention time. Walt. Poor Hank. Oh. <laughs> that, that was kind. <sighs> we can do better. Don't you fucking think about it! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That sucks. Red phosphorus to the face. Damn, dude. Basically killing another guy. Crossbow time? <laughs> that was effective. Like, let's be honest, he could have done a lot of more things than load a crossbow. Process because clearly I don't. Yeah. This decision you've made is not only not in your best interest. Find joy in the little it's things. Not in the best interest Live, laugh, of love. Our entire family. <laughs> Look, Skyler. Please, I. I have the talking pillow. <laughs> oh Everybody my gets God. To speak their minds, remember, and then you'll get your chance. Hank, would you like to start? <laughs> Man's eating. Uh, yeah. Well, what I would say is, yeah, to, take take the talking pillow. Yeah, the talking pillow. Yeah, it's important. I mean, the key is you got to hang in there, man. You got to keep placing your bets. Keep placing your bets. Boom. What the hell are you saying? No, please, <sighs> we let him talk. That's what we're here to do. Please. It's the bottom of the ninth. Bases are loaded. Oh yeah. You're up, but you got a bum arm. All right. There's no freaking way you're going to hit a homer, okay? It's going to bunt. So you can either let the pinch hitter take the bat, or you can hold on to your pride and lose the game. You get what I'm saying? <sighs> no. I mean, Hank's low-key spitting. <laughs> you got your pride, man. I get it, okay? I get it. Tell your dad how you feel. I'm pissed off. Tell him. That's fair. I I'm pissed off. You're a pussy. Ooh. 
You're That's like, got a sting. Ready to give up. What if you gave up on me, huh? All the stuff I've been through, and you're scared of a little chemotherapy? Imagine your 16-year-old son calling you. Punani. <laughs> I think you should do whatever you want to do. Okay. What? <laughs> she has the talking pillow, Skyler. You told us to be honest about our feelings. Walt's the one with cancer. It's his decision. It's not up to any of us. I wasn't planning on agreeing with Walt. But after sitting here and listening to you all talk about his future, like he has no say in it, He's I just not think gonna I have a future if he doesn't get treatment. Uh, I she am has a, a talking pillow. Professional. <laughs> I x-ray people in treatment every day. I see them every day. And you know what? Some of them are absolutely miserable. Marie. I'm sorry, but it's true. Hey, you know, can I get the pillow back? Because I, I agree with Marie on this one. <sighs> what? Maybe Walt wants to die like a man, all right? I don't want him to die at all. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. This is my husband's life. You know, we're I talking made about one. Here. This is my Simple husband's life. We're talking about it. And it's like, Ladies, come on. You how dare you? Hit what somebody? happened to the talking Please. pillow? Yes. I got my volume turned this down. Is so stupid. <laughs> all right, I've got the talking pillow now. Okay. <laughs> so menacing. What I want, what I need, is a choice. What does that mean? I feel like I never actually make any of my own choices. I mean, oh, well, I mean, you chose to cook math. True. I think that was that was pretty independent of him. <sighs> What about your son? Don't you want to see your daughter grow up? Of course I do. That's Kyler. You've read the statistics. You... That snack tray Loki looks gas. <sighs> For real. But what good is it to just survive if I am too sick to work, to enjoy a meal, to make love? For what time I have left, I want to live in my own house. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and lose my hair and lie around too tired to get up and so nauseated that I can't even move my head. And me, what a... Some, uh... Some dead man, some artificially alive... Just marking time. And that's how you would remember me. That's the worst part. That is my thought process, Skyler. Mm. That's mm. deep. I choose not to do it. Kind of look, looked like Ben Affleck right there for a minute. <laughs> a little bit. Would she leave or something? It appears so. The bed head is going crazy. Or not. I'll do the treatment. Huh? He folded. Oh, they're folded like a lawn chair. I hate waiting rooms. <sighs> Same. Interesting scene. Yep. Is it going to Jesse's? <laughs> Elliot. Walt, it's Gretchen. Oh, hey. hey Gretchen, how are <laughs> Elliot. you? Elliot. Elliot told me about the cancer. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. That money, as far as we're both concerned, that, that belongs to you. 
even the name of our company, it, it's, it's half yours. Is this about you and me? As it turns out, the insurance came through after all. So, uh, I am covered. And, uh, Where's the insurance is? Crystal meth? Anyway, I, I really appreciate it. Crystal really meth. Really Keep in touch, okay? Sure. Sure. And thank you for calling. Yeah, he's never calling you back again. <laughs> Common Walt L. Take the 90K and then go cook meth. But he's like, I'm fine. I'll do I, this myself. Yeah, I think this circles back to him saying he feels like he never gets to make a choice. He wants to make a choice. This is his way right here. Get off of my property. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Want to cook? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd never or, uh, ask. <laughs> it's like, you know what they call me? Captain Cook. <laughs> so, how'd you feel about that episode? Uh, I just... I think this is just a me thing, but like, I really don't understand what the issue is. With him taking the money. And more importantly, him doing the treatment. And like, you know, I have the privilege of not having to make that decision. So I imagine it's a lot easier for me to sit here from the, from the comfort of YouTube and say, oh, I wouldn't or would do this. But it's just like, I don't know. I feel like the moment the guy said something about a treatment plan, I would have been all over it because it's fighting versus laying down and dying. I don't well, know, it just seems like an easy decision to me. In this case, Walt pretty much knows he's dying either way. They didn't necessarily give like a percent chance for him to beat it. The the doctor just said in some cases they enter remission. Yeah, and you know, to me, it's just if it's a one percent, you you roll the dice. I get that mentality, but so from Walt, clearly he is tired of uh, Skyler and other people around him making decisions for him. Um, he he wants for whatever time he does have remaining, because he's pretty much given up, and obviously Walt Junior doesn't respect that either. He called him. The P word. Mm, the punani. He, he said, I've been going through this and you can't even you're you're afraid of some chemo. Um I mean, he was spitting. So yeah, it's it's not just like you know, him making his own decision, but also the treatment of chemo, the side effects, you know, like he said, being nauseous, not being able to move, not being able to make love, uh losing his hair being weak um it's a lot man for if like he doesn't beat cancer which i would say the chances are like very high the the first diagnosis he got told it was um it, it couldn't be treated right it was terminal basically mm. so the, the only reason it. he's doing I this just... is the reason he's uh same reason he's trying to earn the money for his family for Skylar, obviously she was giving him the cold shoulder. He woke up down next to her in bed. That was enough for him to be like, all right, I'm getting chemo. I can't wake up not next to my wife. What kind of cruel world is this? <laughs> um, but yeah, Skylar had some good points of, uh, you know, you, you don't want to be here for your daughter when she grows up and uh, that, that's got to hit him hard. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I respect Marie for like saying what she thought, <laughs> like, you know, Walt needs to make his own choice. I, you know, my job is uh, x-raying people and some seem miserable. You know, maybe he doesn't want that. Obviously, Skylar, like she only sees one option, which is him 
getting the treatment and fighting which it seems like you lean toward that side but yeah i i definitely i can see from walt's perspective why he would be reluctant to do that I think I get the reluctance, but to me, it's still like, it's easy. It's I'm doing it. Like, obviously you'd, you'd sit down, you'd break it down a little bit deeper than that. Yeah. But again, for me, it's pretty just straightforward. But, um, again, I know it's not an easy decision and I know it's definitely not something I could just sit here and say, yep, cool, whatever. He's a punani for not making that decision, but that's just my thought on it. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm almost positive I know that actor that Captain Cook was cooking with. Um, Badger. I want. I yeah. I want to say he's uh, Ned Dornigat from NCIS. Haven't seen NCIS. I'm not positive. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, I'm almost positive, but I, I remember him being significantly like skinnier and not having long hair. So very well could be wrong. Well, no, I'm right. Ha ha. Oh, I was about to look it up for you, (laughs) but yeah, I mean, not only his face, but I feel like his voice is very iconic. Distinct. Yeah. Yeah. You don't recognize that. Um, Another Fact major theory. thing from the episode, Walt's relationship with his uh, colleague and business partner, Elliot, uh, it would seem that their company, Gray Matter, Elliot kind of took all the glory from it. You don't really see Walt's name anywhere on the uh, like p- papers on the wall in the library. Mm-hmm. And nobody at the party like knew about Walt until the one guy, uh, Farley, I think his name was, he explained. Um, and then Gretchen, you said you recognized her. She was from Flashback. Seemed like they had a spark there, little, uh, little love interest, but she ends up getting with Elliot. Mm-hmm. So uh, it could explain why Walt is, he, he doesn't want to, take the money from them it's like he's a thing it's a thing of pride he's kind of yeah, like a personal vendetta right but I, I if i haven't seen the show in 10 years but i think they they might dive even deeper into it and give you some more reasoning behind it because i know right now it's just like bro just take the money but yeah i i think it, it might be even worse i, I just don't completely completely remember because it it's been so long since i've seen the show yeah, I could totally like that one makes way more sense than the whole treatment versus non-treatment thing. But to me, it's like, bro, just take the money and then cook the meth to spend on your treatment and waste the 90K on something hilarious and use that as your revenge. I mean, I don't know. It's like free I, 90K. Yeah, I, w- I would let them pay for my treatment and I wouldn't even cook meth, you know, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's an option, too. Yeah, but um, what what else did we get in that? I, I feel like that episode was like the talking was a, pillow scene was hilarious. Yeah, so like I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just wild and funny. Um, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I, I think that, that of course was like I just the got hit with thing. the yawn from hell. <laughs> I was wondering why you like paused. Yeah. But I think the main thing from that episode was uh, Skylar trying to get Walt to crack and go for the treatment. And at the end, he finally does agree. And then it's just Jesse off on his own trying to uh, apply for a job, which I thought he looked super suave in that suit. He did look suave. And I, I think he would make a great salesman. But um, yeah, he, he's not gonna be out there sign spinning like Badger. Nah, he, he's more talented than he's that. He's not putting in that grind. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Badger's sign spin—he's he, got potential. 
for show. Um, but yeah, him cooking and then like tossing out the meth because it was a bad batch. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it kind of, and also him knowing the name of the glassware now, the different types of yeah. beakers and flasks kind of shows that Walt was rubbing off on him, which I think was interesting because they only cooked together once, right? So far. Yeah, just once. <laughs> but then again, he was his old chemistry teacher. So they've oh, known man. each other for a while. Yeah. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about from this episode? No. I think that episode was fire. It was pretty good, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I- I'm just ready for this season to end. You have all your relationships established with your characters mm. and then for shit to just go crazy. Like, we're going up the roller coaster right now and then we're about to we're go. About to, yeah. Yeah, we're going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, I think that'll do it for this one. I know Blake is really, really tired. It's like, uh, yeah, past midnight over there. And I, I can imagine he's been up since really early in the morning on the grind. So I'm gonna let him get some sleep. Next watch session, we will probably finish season one. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, anyway, if you guys like this reaction, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the noti bell to stay up to date. Know when we are dropping these episodes, we'll be dropping one every week. Check the description for links to our Patreon. Get the full-length reaction over there, as well as two- and four-week early access. We have links to our Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and a link to our Discord. Come in there and talk about Breaking Bad. Let us know how you felt about this episode. With that being said, we will see you guys next time.